So I brought my computer out to get some emails done, perhaps. Look who's, uh, so between Shirley and the computer, look who's winning. Pretty obvious. What are we gonna do, Lily? Should I kick her off? What's your opinion on the matter? Okay. Ready? You okay, Shirley? Are you okay, Shirley? Yeah, you're gonna come out? Are you okay? Yeah, it's okay, Shirley. It's okay, Shirley. Yeah, it's okay, Shirley. It's okay, lover. Yeah, baby, I know. You know, it's very scary. I know, I know. It's okay, lover. It's okay. Yeah, it's very stressful. It's very stressful. which will be the vlog for Wednesday. So today's the 13th and this will be the vlog for the 14th. And I'm unboxing my book, which I think I know what it is, but I'm not entirely sure, you never know. I mean, I didn't. I don't even know that many, but it's like you don't always keep exact track of what things are, but I think this is gonna be, oh, it's two, it's two books. So now I do think I know what it is. Yes, that's what I mentioned yesterday. We have The Talented Mr. Ripley. And I think this is the second one, Ripley Under God. Is that what it's called? Oh, Underground, sorry, Ripley Underground. So these are two Patricia Highsmith novels that I think, I might just start with Talented because it's the most famous, right? It's the one she's most famous for. Copyright 1955. Mm, I, don't, I don't know. The diary one is also kind of intriguing to me. But I'm glad I have them now. So, you know, who knows when I'll actually read them. But I do want to read them. And I'm glad I have them on my shelves. You know, I don't mind not exactly knowing when I'll read them. But we came back from the vet. And, yeah, the kitties were anxious. But they're fine now. And I'm um, sorry. This, this cleaning noises in the background. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it open. doesn't matter. We're still kind of, I can tell that I'm still transitioning into not, not teaching mode and being in the house mode together and kind of, you know, that whole dance of when you're two, two people living together and it's fine, but our schedule, my, my schedule is so different now that I'm home all the time, except for when we have outings, which we also do together. Um, I mean, now and then I'll go out for lunch with people on my own and he goes to the gym on his own. But um, it's that transitional state to the holidays. And what happens is, you, and then you get used to it, the new one, and then I have to go back, which I'm already kind of dreading going back to. And um, so I'm already sort of planning in my head things I want to do. Like, I think I'm going to order, I haven't yet, but I think I'm going to order like a thermos so that I can make extra coffee, like the, the way I like it. So an espresso type thing. And then just have it on the go in the mornings because I teach the issue with the spring semester is that I I'm going to teach at 830 and then I'm going to teach again at 10 and then I teach at 1140 and then I teach at 115. And the biggest break I'll have will be from 11 to 1140. That's the only more than a half hour. Otherwise, it's only like 20 minutes, which seems like a lot, but it's not if you have to change rooms and get different stuff get different materials and i need to use the restroom usually between breaks and and i'll also be kind of either tired or stressed and so i'm gonna the way i deal with that is planning a lot and then i'll line up 
certain types of like the thermos of coffee just to keep me going and also because it's delicious and then kind of good snacks i'll have like an array of good snacks and i probably will invest in if you've seen the earlier vlogmas um where the little fridge broke it was such a good investment and it wasn't really that much money it was so nice to have to not always have to go to the big fridge for my stuff to have it right there and I didn't even know that such things existed. Um, mini, mini fridges. So really just kind of like a, it's like a small cooler, but it's in the shape of a fridge. And apparently people use them for their cosmetics or whatever, you know, things that they want to keep cold. But for for a drinks thing in my little office, it's perfect. And it just, I think if they just don't have a very long shelf life, which is not good in terms of sustainability, you know, so that's not so good. But in terms of keeping me happy, I like them. <laughs> That's always the payoff. So yeah, that's my little update from now. And so now I think what I will do is, I'm not getting to my reading. I'm not getting to finish my trial up, which is a little annoying, but that's um, the way things go. So I'll either plan for a little bit. So my planner, um, which I, it's such a funny hobby. I mean, I do like my hobby, but I, I can sort of tell that if, if, I, I'm not, I don't want to go out of my way to create new things, or just not right now at least, to, to, to spend too much time devoted to it because I do want to kind of read instead. So it's like reading and planning are kind of duking it out for my attention. But I think I'll spend a little bit of time putting in an entry for today and maybe back, back stickering a little bit. Um, and Or I might even just not do that and read my book. <laughs> we have options. Hello, I'm here to just finish out the vlog after we watched our shows and I watched a little bit of booktube, YouTube, and uh, now I just have to do my chores and I will listen to more of Kindred and do some reading. I didn't get as much done during the afternoon as I thought I would have. I kind of got distracted and I ended up doing looking at my very extensive tree, family tree on ancestry.com. It's another hobby, genealogy. And it's a bit frustrating because when I go into ancestry.com, I just kind of get, I mean, it's, it's just the way it is. I get sucked into whatever section of the tree I'm looking at. And then I kind of want to find out more about that tree. And the way ancestry.com works, in, in case you know, if you know, is that it gives you hints as to if a person has stuff that they've found out about that it has a little, it prompts you to go look at the documents that are ready for that person to, to check. And that just keeps you, when you have as many people in your tree as I do, there's always hints, what they call hints. And uh, it's kind of funny. So one thing, and it's just typical genealogy stuff. So, um, I just recently realized that my great grandfather, who's a very interesting fellow, he was born in, you know, to British parents in Canada, but at some point made his way to Australia and then New Zealand. And uh, I always thought the story, well, because my mother told me the story that his, he married my great-grandmother after his previous wife had died away and my great-grandmother was the part Maori nurse who came in and looked after the wife, but then she passed away anyway. And to, only today did I realize that she didn't pass away, that the previous wife did not pass away. But yet there's no document of them being divorced, but yet there is apparently a document of him marrying my grandmother, great grandmother. And so, well, but what is going on with the other lady? Did, was he still married to her? I don't really know. And, and the thing is, on, on, a, on a certain level, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, he did apparently marry my great grandmother, but the other lady was still around and she was not dead. She's, she survived another 20 years, <laughs> way longer than he did. So anyway, and it's it's what surprised me is how long it took me to realize that, like to to, to uh, and, you know after hearing it from my mother and and staring at this page for many years, only today did I realize. Wait, 
but his other wife did not die. She lived another 20 years. <laughs> and see, he has kids from the other wife who are all in my tree too, or the other wife who had actually also been married before. It's a whole big story, which I won't get into now because yeah, that's genealogy for you. It just very quickly gets very complicated. <laughs> But anyway, so yeah, genealogy and my hobby of Ancestry.com. I will end the vlog. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for commenting. And onward. Tomorrow will be another day. Bye-bye.